Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. And today we're going to meet Tammy, who is in this really nice Class C. And you are a nurse. I am. And you're still working as a nurse. I'm still working as a nurse. In Washington State. That's correct. And where you're just down here at the RTR to check things out. I am. I uh, actually found your videos. I actually found Carolyn's videos uh -huh. first, and then I found you and was watching them. And Jan and I work in the same hospital, but on different units. Jan, and who we just had, you will see an interview with Jan soon. And uh, Jan floated to my unit one night. We knew each other, but we're on different units. And we got to talking about our travel trailers and RVs. And I said, you need to watch Cheap RV Living. And she just started laughing. And she said, oh, I do. I went to the RTR last year. So we hooked up and caravan down together. Cool. And uh, just had a really good trip. Cool. And uh, so you're still full time, uh, working full time, full time I am. as a nurse in I Washington. Am. And you're thinking about going full time time RVing. Is that right? Eventually, I will still have a home base in Washington mm -hmm. because my kids will buy my house. And then uh, my oldest son is helping me do modifications to my old RV. It's better than spending the money on a new one. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll probably spend six to eight months a year living here and then going up and staying with my kids in Washington when it's nice. But how could you tear yourself away from Washington in the great winter weather? Oh, it's rough. It's very <laughs> rough. <laughs> of course, we're, we are joking. Totally <laughs> joking. So what's the weather really like in Washington State in the uh, winter? It is gray. It, <laughs> it is drizzles gray. <laughs> and it's gray and the days are short. It's kind of depressing. It's very depressing. The sun <laughs> is an antidepressant. <laughs> yes. <and> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, even living in the desert where I get so much sun, uh, sometimes on a cloudy day, I'm aware that the, it affects my mood. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. It's very powerful, the sun. Yeah. So, and I can't imagine living in Washington State in all winter with, how often do you see the sun in the winter? Do you know, uh, we can go a few weeks without seeing much of the sun. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that'd be just ideal. Have And you'll, your kids will get the home. Mm hmm And right. you will have a bedroom there, I assume. Exactly. And uh -huh. you'll go home and be with them and be with the grandkids. Be with the grandkids. And, and that's a really hard thing for a lot of women at, when they start thinking full-time is leaving the grandkids. It is. They're getting older now. By the time I start doing this full-time, they'll be... Uh, junior high and high school, so they get busy with their own lives then. Yes, and uh, it's a lot easier to leave yeah. them then. Yeah, when they're little babies, especially, that's yeah, very um, hard. Yeah, especially for women, you yeah. want to you want to snuggle them. Yeah, kind of what you're made yeah. to do. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, among many many things, but that's one of the things you're made to do. Uh, and so you are uh, getting ready for that, and that just sounds like an ideal life to me. I think so. Uh, and have you, uh, we've talked about this a little bit, and you practiced as a uh, traveling nurse for a little while? Well, it was sort of like a traveling nurse. I went and found my own position. So I didn't work for a travel company. I decided where I wanted to be, and HR, human resources, would say, oh, no, we don't do that. So I would go talk to the unit manager and give them my resume, and they would hire me on the spot. So I did six months in Arizona and six months in Washington. That is just ideal. Yeah, uh, it was Get away great. away from the gray and the, into the sun. Mm -hmm. First week in October, bye-bye Washington. Yeah. Hello, Arizona. It was perfect. And you just kept your home. So you kept had a home, home to go back mm -hmm. home to. Mm -hmm. That is just ideal. And... Uh, would you keep your benefits and everything because you were no, you weren't full time? That was the trouble. That was, was the trouble. But this was way before the current health care situation. So I was able to purchase a high deductible insurance um, for very reasonable, for huh? less than two hundred dollars a month. Right. Um, I, I I don't know what what that how that works now, um, but back then it worked. So one of the things that holds you where you are is health insurance. Health insurance, retirement benefits, right. I need to build up a little bit. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure your Social Security will be good, but uh, it's never enough. No. The, the more, the more, the better, and a good solid pension is really a good thing. Yeah. So, so you're taking mm -hmm. care of that, putting, getting things in order, and mm -hmm. then at the right time, you'll go on the road part-time. Yes. Cool. Very, very, very great yeah. plan. Yeah. A lot of folks who are watching us are in that situation, thinking ahead, 
planning and doing it right. Right. Really good. Well, I, I was going to work a, a lot of years longer, and I had a very good friend just two years older than I, and she died unexpectedly, and it changes everything, and I've moved it, it up, and I, I think within just a couple of years I should be able to do this, and for now I'm just going to travel as much as I can, and I take right. my mom on trips, we go on trips all the time, all the time. And and Washington's a beautiful state. I mean, you could just it stay is. even in the summer. Usually, you get it's four three as a nurse, four days on, three days off. Yeah. So you yeah. have your three day weekend, mm -hmm. and you can go. Oh, I stack up my days off. Oh, sure, so, you can bundle. Yeah, them. I bundle them, and um, so I can get seven to ten days off in a stretch. You know, maybe once a month, and uh, we like to do the Olympic Peninsula. Mm -hmm. It's just fun to drive around the Olympic Peninsula. One of the most beautiful places anywhere. It is. It really, it really is. is. Yeah. And uh, good weather, of course, in the summer, always. Well, you know, generally. even the first week in October this year we went, and the weather was spectacular. It was kind of freakish, actually. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> a lot of freakish weather going on. I yeah. wonder how, wonder why. Uh, so, yeah, that, but that's great. And so this is just working out really good for you and your mom. It is. It is. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so would you mind if we went ahead and... Uh, took a look inside your rig? I'd love you to. It's wild in there. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so now we're inside your Class C, and the first thing uh, I noticed is you really like subtle colors. I do like subtle colors. <laughs> I want them just, just non-noticeable. <laughs> Actually, when I went to buy the paint, I wanted a quart of white, a quart of gray, and a quart of purple. And they didn't have the purple in a quart, so she gave me a gallon for the quart price. So I just kept painting purple. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful. I really like it. I really like that the, uh, it's just different. You know, it's you. It's wild. Yeah. 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 And boy, you have done a lot of work in here. It's and it's been over a period of time. I've owned this RV for uh, eleven years, I think. So I've just slowly done things, but the interior stuff has been just within uh, the last year or two. And it started with the carpet, that nasty old carpet. Always. I ripped out the carpet, and boy, what a job that was! Yeah. And then once I got started on that, I I just I just kept going. So. Uh, now this is uh, this is an older RV. What year is it? it? This is a '95. Oh, so it's not older. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well, that is kind of older. It's isn't it? 22, it's 22, 23 years, years yeah. old now. Yeah. Uh, and my goodness, it's nice in here. I I really like it. Uh, it just you know, there's always things you would change if you were going to build your own from the ground up, but uh -huh. it it works out just great. And one of the first things I did too when I ripped out the carpet was take out the bathroom door because the door. It either had to be closed and I didn't get the light from the back, or when it was open, it was right in front of the stove. So I just took that off and put on a, now a that's curtain. A little, oh, so you have a curtain. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I have a curtain right here that just closes, so you and, do have some privacy. And it's just you and your mom. It's just me travel. and my mom. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're, you like each other. Yeah, we oh, like each other. Okay. Although I do oh. travel with all my kids. Oh, we really? came down to the Grand Canyon a few years ago, so three, with me, four adults and one child. And uh, we all cram in here. And they were they were okay with a curtain for on the bathroom. Well, we still had the door on there. Oh, okay. they have to be okay now, though, or they can't travel with yeah. me. <laughs> Make your choice. Yeah, that's right. I um, love. I just. Uh, I have. I've just stepped inside, and I love it. Uh -huh. I just can't tell you how much I'm enjoying well, it. Thank you. Thank you. This must be outside storage. This this no, is no that's inside. Yeah, this is inside. Right. Okay. And then uh, wow, number is... one, sun put lights in there, and then I made some shelves in the back, so I've got room for my camera and shoes and all that stuff out of the way. So um, this is the factory white layout. You didn't change I the didn't door, change the any, walls. Nope, I didn't change anything like that. This is an yeah. unusual design. I yeah. don't think I've ever seen qu anything quite like it. So it's a back bathroom and the closet, and mm -hmm. what's underneath? That that is out, that is outside storage. I have okay. one small outside storage, uh, and that's all the outside storage I have. Okay. And then and then it has it's uh, it's not a wet bath. It's a dry bath, and I've got a, a shower. I rarely use it, but it's there if I need it. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we just 
store a few things in there. Everyone, everyone who owns an RV stores things in the shower. Uh huh. It's kind of wasted space. I totally get the wet bathroom thing now. It makes sense in a small space. And so you you use the toilet and dump the black tanks. I do. And we're thing. just we're just careful. I have a go girl. I don't mind squatting by the road. Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't make Mama do that. Okay. But, <laughs> but uh, we we can be out quite a while. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're if you're really frugal with it. Yeah. And, and do you use a gray tank? I do. I do use a use gray tank, tank. But you know, I'm really frugal. One thing I learned from the YouTube videos was the vinegar and the spray bottle for doing your dishes. Yes. Wow. That is awesome. It is. And a couple yeah. paper towel and uh, some water and you're, you're good to go. Yeah. And we took out the big microwave and look at this beautiful big oh, wow. cupboard. That I is... mean, look, I still have room up there. Yeah. I haven't even filled it up. So, um, and these I got at Walmart, they're shoe racks and they fit perfectly in these overhead bins. Uh -huh. The ones up here, I just took a hacksaw off and made them one shelf tall. Mm -hmm. Fit perfectly in there like it was made for it. Standard, uh, pretty much standard kitchen, but it's uh -huh. pr plenty wide enough. You can oh, yeah. cook here very pleasantly. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, nice and open into the rig. And this is my mom. Hi, Mom. This is Beverly. And we love to travel together. We just have so much fun. Cool. And Mom has always been a traveler. She and my dad, when my dad was still here, they took off in their camper and would be gone for months. So we know it's genetic for it's, you. Yeah, those itchy feet. I come by yeah. them honestly. For sure. And uh, so, are, where are you sleeping? So, that you can see up above, there's a big memory foam up there. I do. And that comes down here for mom. Okay. And I, I have a 12 volt electric blanket for her too. Mm -hmm. And my battery system is set up. I can run my furnace at night. I can use that blanket. And I just have the two golf cart batteries and they do great. Really nice. Yeah. Uh, just all the small little touches in the car. Yeah. I love the car. <laughs> and then one of the things I did under here, I put in these, oh, there's my Oreos. I put in these pull-out. Uh, uh-huh. And so, and those work. My coffee pot fell over. And those work so great. But after I put them in, I thought, oh, no, I'm going to be driving down the road. And they're going to fall open. So mm -hmm. I was just going to put a little carabiner on there, mm -hmm. carabiner. And so my son put the lights in there, and then if you listen when I close it, that click, mm -hmm. there's some kind of a door catch back there that automatically locks those <laughs> for me. Oh, I just, I, I love this rig. <laughs> well, thank you. I love the thank color, you. I guess. Yeah. And, uh, and... Is this all like original tile? Yeah. The, Even the, I mean, it just seems just, exceptionally nice. Yeah, this is the original and the table, and I still haven't decided what I want to do with that. Uh, you know, I'll change it. But in the bathroom, I used that spray paint stuff, and then I spray painted the the counter and then the sink also. Mm -hmm. What uh, brand name is the build? The, it's uh, a it's a um, jamboree. Jamboree. Yeah, it's the same uh, one, same company that Carolyn's first one was. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, one. yeah, hers was a jamboree of some kind, I think. They did a better job on yours than they did on hers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was really lucky to get this one. It was uh, 11 years old, I think, when I bought it, and it had been used regularly. It didn't mm -hmm. have a lot of miles, but it had been used regularly, so it never sat. I think that makes um, a big difference. And, you know, every year I plan to put between 1,000 and 1,500 into it. So I've put sway bars on and when you need to have brakes done and, you know, there's always something big that's going to come up. So you, you just budget for that. Well, Tammy, I thank you so much for uh, sharing your home and your life with us. It, it's really nice. And I think I think you just have a great plan. Thank you. Uh, that's going to work for you. I you think know? so, too. And your family and your mm -hmm. grandkids and mom. And um, you've designed a, a future life that will just be perfect for you. Thank you. So folks out there, I hope you're inspired and you're thinking, mm -hmm. wow, that's a great mm -hmm. life. I'd like to have that. And you can, you know, just be creative and and uh, and go for it. That's, and go for it. It's exactly. easy to say it, to sit yeah. home and think about it, but you went for it. Yeah. And made it happen. You just, you just got to do it. Yeah. Um. So thanks so much, Tammy. Well, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this. You've been inspired and you got some ideas. And if you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.